When big things happen in the world, like the Arab Spring, how do we understand what is happening and why it's happening? I am Professor Yanir Baryam, president of the New England Complex Systems Institute. We study complex systems, which really means anything that has dependencies in it. The world that we are part of is increasingly complex because everybody is interconnected with everybody else. The key to our ability to understand what's important for decision making at the global scale is to create mathematical models that capture the most important behavior in the system. The trick about finding out what's most important is actually something that was discovered and understood in the context of the physics of phase transitions. What we've been doing is applying that idea and those methods across a wide range of problems. In the case of the Arab Spring, it turns out that policy decisions are made without recognizing their indirect effects. The regulation of ethanol and the deregulation of the commodity markets triggered riots and revolutions around the world. Our ethanol policy by itself has led to a doubling of global food prices. Food prices went up dramatically in 2007 and 8, more than doubling. Then prices went down. And then again, they went up in 2010 and 11. And that's when the Arab Spring took place. The key policy decision that is relevant to this is that the commodity markets were deregulated in 1999-2000. The deregulation of the markets leads to peaks that lie on top of a gradual increase that's due to the ethanol policy. The peaks are the triggers of the food riots and the Arab Spring. We submitted a report to the government warning about the effect of high food prices and its impact on social unrest and political instability. And this was four days before Mohamed Bozezi started things in Tunisia. So what we see is that policy decisions where people don't realize what the indirect effects are can cascade around the world by understanding that if we want to reduce violence in the future, we know what the key factors are and we know how to intervene in the system in order to prevent them from happening.